simple AI verbs, animate and transitive verbs. These are verbs where something animate does something by his or herself. An example would be I eat, I sit, I will go, I did read, I will write, Wisna, he or she eats, Maji, he or she leaves, Wawijge, he or she reads, Kikdo, he or she talks, Kado, he or she says. Most AI verbs follow this pattern, so become familiar with this pattern. There are some verbs with AI verbs which are a little different, including those that start with W or Y. And there's also a couple that lose the last E or O. We're going to discuss these in future lessons, but right now we'll give you a number of verbs which fit into this pattern. Pay special attention to the highlighted portions. Using the verb maji, the verb to leave. Namaji, I leave. Namaji. Gamaji, you leave. Gamaji. Maji, he or she leaves. Maji. And some people will also put a walk there, especially older speakers. And so instead of just maji, it will be maji walk. Some speakers will also put a W on the front, so like wimaji. Namajiman, we but not you leave. Namajiman. This would be like talking to somebody and saying, hey, we're, we're leaving and you're not included in this. So instead of the person having to say, oh, I, I'm coming too? No, no, no. You already know from the verb we use whether you're included or not. So in some ways, it's a little more polite. Namajiman. Gamajiman, we all leave. Gamajiman, Gamajim, you all leave. Gamajim, Majik, they leave. Majik, they leave. Again, though, pay attention to those front part of that word. That N on the front is the I, the G on the front is the U, the nothing on the verb or a W or a walk at the end is the he or she, the N in the men is the we but not you, the G in the men is we all, the G in the M is you all, and the K is they. If you memorize this pattern, I mean, I would make <clears throat> I would make myself some note cards and things and memorize this pattern because once you know this pattern, you can put a whole bunch of different types of AI verbs into that pattern, as you're going to see in just a second. Giose, he or she hunts. Giose. Now, when a W is, falls an I like this, the the I already sounds like E in Potawatomi. That W sounds like more of an O, so it's Gio. Gio se. Nagio se, I hunt. Gagio se, you hunt. Gio se, he or she hunts. Or Wagio se, or Gio se walk. Nagio salmon, we but not you hunt. Gagio salmon, we all hunt. Gagio sam, you all hunt. And Gio suck, they hunt. One thing to note here, too, is a lot of times, some speakers won't double up on the G's. For example, if you have, instead of saying Gagil Salmon, they might just say Gil Salmon for We All Hunt. Or Gil Sam, You All Hunt instead of Gagil Sam. Bin Chige is the verb to clean. Nabin Chige, I clean. Nabin Chige, Gabin Chige, you clean. Gabin Chige. Bin Chige, he or she cleans. Again, you could put a W on there. Wabin chige, or a walk at the end. Bin chige walk, for he or she cleans. Nabin chige men, we but not you clean. Nabin chige men, gabin chige men, we all clean. Gabin chige men, gabin chige, you all clean. And bin chigak, they clean. Giwe is the verb to go home. Nagiwe, I go home. Nagiwe, gagiwe, you go home. Gagiwe. Giwe, he or she goes home, giwe, or again you could put a walk at the end, or a W at the front for wagiwe or giwe walk. Nagiwe men, we but not you go home, nagiwe men, gagiwe men, we all go home, or just giwe men, gagiwe men, gagiwam, you all go home, gagiwam, giwak, they go home, giwak. Wawijge is the verb to read. Nawawijge, I read. Gawawijge, you read. Wawijge, he or she reads. Or Wawijge, walk. You wouldn't probably put a W on the front of this one since it already has a W. Nawawijge, men. We but not you read. Gawawijge, men. We all read. Gawawijge, you all read. Wawijge, they read. 
nebiege is the verb to write. Um, in some communities, it's je biege instead of nebiege. So, ne nebiege, I write. Ge nebiege, you write. Ne biege, he or she writes. And you could put a walk on there. Ne biege walk or a W. Wo ne biege. Ne ne biege man, we be not you write. Ge ne biege man, we all write. Ge ne biege man, you all write. Ne biege gek, they write. Some more verbs which you can use for practice. Mik chui, mik chui, the verb to work. Mik chui. Win chige, win chige, the verb to dirty up. Win chige. Zhechge, zhechge, the verb to do something. Zhechge. Nibwe, nibwe, the verb to stand. Literally it means like stay standing, but often people use it as rise up as well. Bzugwi, bzugwi, to rise or stand. Bzugwi. Mboachwe, mboachwe, to visit. Mboachwe, that M's kind of quiet. Mboachwe. Wijwe, wijwe, to accompany someone. Wijwe. Kikto, kikto, to talk. Biskonye, biskonye, to dress. Giskonye, giskonye, to undress. Nimedi, nimedi, to dance. Nimedi. Migadi, migadi, to fight. Migadi. Dewege, to drum. Dewege. And that de is that heart. That way is that sound. So it's that sound of that heartbeat. Dewege. Kwedemochke, kwedemochke, to fish, kwedemochke. Some communities also use gigolke. That K just kind of indicates you do something with fish, gigolke. Kwedemochke, or gigolke. Some will even drop the, the gwe off and just say demochke. So demochke, kwedemochke, or gigolke. Bodwe, to build a fire, bodwe. So you've got a group of verbs here <clears throat> that you can use to practice. What I would do is I suggest making yourself some note cards and then quizzing yourself and make a whole set with like mikchui and just say nimikchui, gamikchui, mikchui, nimikchui man, gamikchui man. And then just study the endings and stuff and just try it out with different verbs. So make make a set for uh, migadi to fight, nimigadi, gamigadi, migadi. Um, don't forget that some people put walk on there, maybe change it up so that you can remember both of them, migadi walk and just migadi or wumigadi, to fight. Um, once you get these seven patterns down, it will really help you a lot because then you can focus in on you know exactly what the verb is if you don't recognize it or what's going on. Uh, it makes everything a lot easier once you have this pattern memorized. So really work on memorizing this pattern. Ahow, yo.